August 23rd, 2021, Monday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God, all God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father. Knowing, brothers and sisters, there is love by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. In every place, faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we have among you, and how you turn to God from idols, to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us, delivers us from the coming wrath. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance for those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert. And when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obliged. Blind fools! Which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, If one swears by the altar, it means nothing. If one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obliged. You blind ones! Which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 